Just the last boss fight. Okay. You know in Final Fantasy VII how Zack dies and Cloud assumes his identity because he's a he's a copy of Sephiroth from Genova and all that other shit? The remake? Zack is alive. Zack is alive? And it's not a remake of Final Fantasy VII. It's a remake. The world is being remade. So it's not the same game. It is a completely different game, Snook. Which is why they haven't released the other parts yet. Todez, what's up? Welcome in, guys. Come on in. Todez, tell me about your stream. What were, what were you working on? Snook. There's a, there's a part in, no, Snook, don't leave you, don't leave you, hold on. There's a part in Final Fantasy Remake where Sephiroth is prodding at Cloud, and he's like, there's an important event coming up, you only have six seconds. Are you prepared? You only have six seconds. Are you prepared? And you know what event he's talking about because you've played Final Fantasy VII. And you're like, what? I can stop this from happening? Snook. It's a completely different game. It is 100% a completely different game. I want to play the remake so bad. I've seen it played all the way through and I want to play it because of that. It is a great story. It is a great story. Oh, that's awesome, Todes. Uh, how'd you die in your other world? Tell me about it. Yeah, Snook. It, it's definitely worth a look-see. It's, it's definitely worth a look-see. I, I think it's worth every single penny. They're completely rewriting the story because they're changing events in it because it's a remake. It's not, it's not just a, a, a tag at the end of the game. It's, it's, it's a whole new game. And I, I fanboyed so hard at the ending. Cause you don't, you don't see, you kind of get bits and pieces throughout the gameplay. But once you, once it hits you at the end, it's just like, <gasps> dude. Dude, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I, I almost cried. That's one of the best Final Fantasy stories ever told. And I, I almost cried when that reveal happened. But what happened was, Snook, it, it, it goes back to the end where Zack is dead. And it shows Cloud pick up Zack. And Zack's like, oh man, I got hurt a little bit. Let's head back to base. And they're walking together off the battlefield. And you're just like, oh my god. Zack is alive. You saw that? Well, then you should have known. Dude, it's a completely different game. You were fighting the Ender Dragon uh, in my world, and it flew straight into me, and instead of popping the totem, it popped the totem and killed me in an instant. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, Snook, dude. Oh my God. I, I, I think, ha, is it out on PC yet? It was supposed to be out for PC. It hasn't come out for PC yet, has it? No, they don't have it out yet. When it comes out for PC, I, I am going to stream it. Is it on Epic? I don't want to buy from Epic anymore. Epic screwed me the other day, Inashi. Is Epic Game Store? God, they, they screwed me so hard the other day, dude. I don't want to deal with them ever again. Is it only going to be on Epic? Red Tango. And that's what people don't understand about it. It's not a remake of the game. It's a remake of the, of the story. Just call him Artesian. No, see, what happened was I was an Epic Games partner and I had an Epic creator code. That way people, when people bought something from Epic, they could use that code and I got like, you know, eight cents from the sale or whatever. And 
they took it from me because I changed my name. And when they take it from you, it's indefinite forever. And I was like, but can I, can we not just change it to my name? They're like, no, we can't do it anymore because you changed your name. So you're, you're completely banned from ever being an epic partner forever. And I was like, uh, what? So yeah, screw them. <clears throat> you were on 818 days, but not too bother anymore because I have much better plans for your new world. Cool. Keep kicking ass, dude. Uh, Todes and people who came with Todes, hi. I'm playing hardcore. We were just gushing about Final Fantasy Remake. Uh, I built a perimeter in the nether. We left the lava for aesthetics. And I'm putting a giant hole here in the middle. Because we're going to start our gold farm down there and build it up to the build height. Or as high as I want to. But there's our, there's our, our hole that we made. And we're currently replacing the wall right now with, um with bricks so we're currently building the wall up at, at the moment i got the entire lower part done uh i'm still looking for errant red blocks like that nether brick right there or that nether rack i don't want that to exist so we gotta cut that stuff out if you guys ever see any of those like tucked in a, a bedrock somewhere let me know so we can break them but that's currently what we're working on uh, I don't keep track of my days. When someone asks me what day I'm on, I always pull up how many days it's been since I was born. So I tell people I'm on day 13,497. Congrats to me. Um, because we don't care about our world days in here. I just play, so. Todes, uh, better luck in your new hardcore world. And thanks for coming by. But yeah, Snook, it, it's a completely different game, dude. I almost bought a PlayStation just to play it, but then it said it was going to come out for PC, so I've just been holding out for it. It's got, they got a year lock? Yeah, that's what they do. Damn it. That really sucks. Go for it. I know, I know how it's like to raid and then run. I've been doing this for, for over four years. Have fun getting food. Right now, I'm just cutting out all the gravel and sand because the gravel and sand is going to be a nightmare like this. And we'll get the hard blocks afterwards. That sand over there is a different story. It's not the same as the sand here. It's a little more solid. It's pretty good. All right. I say we just go and start taking down walls. Let's start back here. We bought a PS4 just for that game, and we, we'll still get it for PC as well. You just couldn't wait. Red, I, I don't have that kind of disposable income, but that's cool, dude. Dude, it's such a, it's such a, it's such it was such a surprise. Because I was like, I'm not a fan of the combat system. I, it's okay, but it, it, I really like the old turn style, you know, turn base better. And I was watching it, and there were some things that were similar, like the whole, you know, um, dressing up and everything. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And then when that ending hit, dude, it was, I, I was speechless. I was watching Ko play it. And we got to that end scene, and Ko was like, but wait. And I was like, but wait. And we were, we were all just sitting there, like, stun-locked. It was insane. I hadn't felt that way about a video game in a long time. And I started get, like getting butterflies and I was getting all super pumped and I was like, oh my God, they need to make the rest of the game. <laughs> but it makes sense because they originally announced it was going to come out in like four chapters and people were so pissed about it. They were like, just release the game all at once. But now I know why. It all makes sense. And they didn't want to spoil that part of the game. Because obviously that was a that's a huge spoiler. <laughs> it's a restart of that story like Star Trek movies. Yeah. Oh Snook. It's it's so great. It does a good job of just paying paying homage to the other one while still also being a new game. It, it's just so great. I, I haven't played it yet, Snook, and it's easily one of my top 10 games of all time. And, like, part two still hasn't come out yet. It, it, it's just crazy. 
how much they've done with that world in you know the short number of years it's been it's been around it seems like the most the most realistic world they've had come, uh, so far too like advent children was an excellent movie if you enjoyed if you played the video game if you didn't play final fantasy 7 though you you wouldn't have understood half that movie and seeing the Omni Slash at the end and everything, it was just so good. And then they took those graphics and just made a video game out of it. <laughs> it was just, it's just great all around. But thank you for letting me like spew about it. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge like nerd when it comes to that game. Yeah, Epic Epic shot me in the foot. And they refused to work with me. And it's like, what, what a bunch of turds. Like, if they would let me reapply under my new name or something, it'd be different. But they won't even let me do that. I'm completely barred from ever applying. You're going to have to rewatch it. I would say... I don't know if you know who Co Carnage is. But pull up his playthrough on YouTube and just watch his playthrough, Snook, if you ever get a chance. He does a very thorough and a very good playthrough of it. You played the original a few weeks ago? I played it a few years ago. I, I <laughs> Snook, I've no life that game so much. I know like how to beat all the weapons. Um, I know how to get all of the uh, final limit breaks for everyone. <laughs> I, I, dude, I know that game inside and out. I played that game a lot. I was never big on buying like strategy guides. I would buy the strategy guide after I've beaten the game for the first time. And I got the strategy guide, and I was like, oh, cool. And I went back and played it again and just stomped it into the earth. It was insane. But yeah, it was, it was, it was great. Uh, that and this song's name... Well, I, I couldn't see the song because it just went off. But it was a Legend of Zelda song. There's a lot of music from Legend of Zelda in here. Am I going to replace the glass? No, the glass stays. Glass is part of the build. I wanted the walls to be natural, Wiz, but we replaced so much in the walls because lava was spewing out that it was hard for me to know what was natural and what wasn't. But I like the I like the natural hill and stuff of the of the lava. That's gonna stay. But doing this is is pretty cool. And then what we'll do is we'll cut some accents and we'll put some accents in here too. Of the blackstone. Oh, I thought you just meant you liked the ocarina because it was the ocarina playing music. Boop. Okay, pick all this stuff right here up. I need to start putting some of this stuff in boxes because I want to keep some of this. Uh, that's my scaffolding box. Polished Blackstone. This is the box that we're pulling stuff from right now. So let's do this. I'm going to put this in here, that, that, this. Um, keeping the glass on me. I want some more of this in my hands. And I want those bricks. And then we're going to chop those up. Put some of that there. This is looking clean. Once we're finished with it, it should look pretty badass. But it does it does look nice so far. I'm I'm impressed with it. 
It does look cool. Yeah, we're gonna put accents around it. We're not. We're just not there yet. Let me chop up some blocks. Snook, what other Minecraft streamers do you watch? Any of them hardcore? None lately? Okay. I'm I'm not originally like a like a Minecraft streamer. Um I actually cut my teeth on City Skylines early in my streaming career. And then I got partner playing um, Kerbal Space Program. But that game's almost unplayable right now, so I don't really play it much anymore. And I went variety for a while, hard variety, and played a bunch of different games. And in doing so, a lot of people left my community. Because some of the people were hard stuck on Kerbal, some of them were hard stuck on Cities. And when I started going variety, they all left. And I dabbled in Minecraft for a few months, about a year and a half ago, and I had insane growth. People were in here, it was crazy and everything else. So, um, I kind of wanted to get back into it because I really enjoy Minecraft. And a lot of people tell me at the end of the day, play what you want to do to have fun. So that's what we're doing now. I still I still dabble some, some um, variety in here and there. Um, I know you're subscribed, I don't know if you do Discord much, but in the Discord we have a channel called The Roundtable. And you guys get to vote for a, for a game that I play on Fridays. And um, so Fridays we usually do like song requests. It's like a community day. And then uh, I've turned Saturdays into whatever I want to play days. So like last week we did a community server and I did some um, vampire survivors. I don't know what we're doing this Saturday. Well, Snook, there's a lot of people that got mad at me because I started playing Minecraft again. A lot of people look at Minecraft as a kid's game because that's how it's marketed. But I've had quite a few people in my community come in here and say, what's the appeal? What's the fun part about Minecraft? And I've told them, buy the game, give it a day. If you don't like it, I'll refund you. And both of them have said, you can keep your money. Your money's safe. Because you just got to play it first. It's a, it's a common misnomer. So it's, it's just something, it's just something that people, it's, it's just got a bad rep. And last year, was it last year or two years ago? Probably two years ago now. There was a big movement on Twitch where a lot of people got canceled or arrested for like grooming young children and, and sexually assaulting people and everything else and a lot of those people came from the minecraft community so that was another big stain thrown in the way of the game because people were like oh if you play that game you're gonna you know you're gonna groom children and stuff and it's like oh, come on people so there's there's been a lot of controversy with minecraft and then and then the whole dream thing where he cheated in his speed runs and everything and everybody threw a big shit about that and stinky and people still come in and do stupid stuff about it and all the time. You didn't know that part? Yeah, there's a there's a lot that goes on, Snook. If you <laughs> I I spend a lot of time on Twitch, probably more than I should have. Uh but but a lot of the bigger Minecraft streamers that were active three years ago that aren't active now, that's what happened to them. Ninety nine percent, that's what happened to them. Uh, Wiz, don't let that ruin Minecraft for you. It's just it's just a select few people. Don't let that ruin anything for you, bud. You like Dream for what he is? He's an entertainer who happens to be good at Minecraft? Yeah, he, he is. But what's sad is that he doesn't preface a lot of his videos with the fact that they're not real, they're scripted. And a lot of kids take that as like real stuff that can be done. So what they do is they run into the, all the streams, they want you to do the next hottest thing that Dream did and stuff, and it just creates a 
And when you don't do it, they get angry, and it creates a toxic environment. Well, Ainashi, there's a lot of people in the world, dude. You know what I mean? Some people that, that could be... Some people may, may have been teetering the edge of whether they wanted to keep, you know, being in the Minecraft community or not. And when something like that happens, they're like, okay, well, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm out. So it's not the only reason, but it was, you know, the last reason. And I, I totally get it. I mean, it's justified. But also, just like, what is it, CSGO? There was a lot of people in the CSGO lottery scam stuff that had websites and conned children out of millions of dollars. And that's a, you know, that's a highly respected competitive game still. So it's... It's all about the damage control, who it is, where they go, and if they're still around or not. There's there's always something somewhere. There's always a stink. People are always doing something. Snook! There's his five subs from earlier. Or, that, or is that now? Is that is that more? Because it says ten. But Snook showing the ways of the armament to take Twitch Toe, World Killer, Eternalized Mage, Captain Failure, and Cola Waver. Guys, enjoy your ad free viewing, your sandy emotes, and your sword. Snook, if it's one thing I do around here, it's keep things as real as possible. I don't try to sugarcoat anything, my friend. And that, it's a blessing and a curse, because I'm usually a little too blunt for people. They don't like the way I talk. That's now? Okay. That was so weird. <laughs> I thought it was catching up from earlier. But that's cool, man. Thank you for the support. But yeah, that's just, just the way I, I am. So I was supposed to take this out. This was the actual piece that needed to go away. So let's cut this down. It's not part of the circle. It's not part of the wall. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So I need to go. Oh god. I need to go this way. Uh... that work? That works. I put glass here. Put glass there. Perfect. All right, let's go up and take out, take care of the rest of this. This is, I mean, it's looking pretty nice. We'll knock out over probably the whole, almost the sand area. We can do a corner at a time. These blocks should despawn. I thought I saw, I see netherrack, right? Is that netherrack or sand? It's netherrack. I got to get rid of that. Uh, how in the hell do I get rid of that? I don't think I can. Can I see it from this side? I can't. I can't get rid of that. I, you know what? I can get rid of it. Watch this. Oh, this is going to suck though. I need a pearl. Do I have an ender pearl? I don't have an ender pearl. Uh, if I had an Ender Pearl, I could get it out. Is this a remix of the Zelda song? It sure is. Yeah, this is mostly like covers and stuff. Stuff TNT in there. Nah, once I get some Ender Pearls, I'll come back and take care of that. Hi, Hafnium. Something about this floor is triggering your trypophobia. I don't know about that. But I'm sorry, Hafnium. Welcome in, girl. I hope you're well. How was school today? I don't have my shovel on me, so we're just going to hand dig this stuff. I don't want to use my pickaxe for it. Hafnium, you missed me nerding out about Final Fantasy VII. And um, you missed us picking out what wall we're going to be putting around the area here. So now you get to see the wall that we're putting up. Okay. Neat, indeed. Have I seen the mouthful of teeth? Wait, what? I 
Oh, you're talking about that? Yeah, that's not good. No bueno. Oops. Hafnium, how was a uh, school post uh, field trip? Were all the kids well behaved? Did you review what you guys went over and saw at the museum? You were exhausted? All that, all that having to wrangle up cats for hours yesterday probably wore your ass out. Oops. Oops, I'm out of blocks. I need more. Okay, cool. That corner's done. That sand's gonna wiggle there for a few minutes, but I don't care. Pia. To the next corner. Can I reach that? I probably could be able to reach that. I'll grab this. And we'll go up. I also went maskless for the first time, and an eighth grader took it upon himself to comment on my unfortunate acne scars, which plummeted my self esteem for the day. Aww. Boo. They're eighth graders, though. What are you gonna do, right? Hi, Dirt Master. How are you, bud? Welcome in. Are a lot of the teachers starting to go maskless over there, Half Noon? Hi, monkey. Welcome in. You're sick? Well, don't get us sick. Gross. We gotta catch him up on somehow? Yeah. You can safely say my 8th grade self never had a valid nor important opinion. I'll stop, Dirtmaster. <laughs> Make sure you're taking care of yourself, man. Drink plenty of fluids and stuff. 